All right, well, good morning. Today, we are gonna check out the Black Rifle Coffee Company Holiday Blend. Holiday Roast, it says. So, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company is pretty well known. They're out of Utah, and it says veteran-owned, serving premium coffee to people who love America. Enjoy your holidays with our amazing Christmas roast. A portion of our profits go to veteran, law enforcement, fire, and first responder causes. Roasted in America, and it also says 100% Arabica beans. So I've never tried any Black Rifle coffee. Uh, you can certainly order it online. This one was available <coughs> at Cabela's. So we thought we'd give it a, a try. Unfortunately, it is ground already. So we're gonna use the clever immersion um, pour over method. Okay, smells all right. Smells a little Folgery, but there's some, there's some minor fruit notes. Uh, almost like a little bit of a, of a fresh pastry smell. So let's get some water going and give this a shot. All right, a pretty decent crema coming up here. We're gonna let this brew for just about four minutes. Okay, here we go. Simply put it right on top of the mug. Let it drain. Okay. Smelling some fruity notes. Kind of the pastry smell of like a cheese danish. Some nutty notes. And some like old school coffee, you know, like Folgers or um, Maxwell House or something. And there's a little bit of like a grape, a grape note as well too. All right, that was smelling the, the wet ground beans. Much smoother smelling the straight up coffee. I'm gonna let this cool for just a minute. Okay, I've brought this up to my office here for a little further review. It's interesting for a company that has such a cult following. I think I had higher expectations. I don't know if this is just, you know, like I said, I got this at Cabela's. Maybe this is just, you know, standard fare for everybody. But the, um, Ooh, it's tough. Uh, uh, notes, uh, now that I'm tasting it, a little bit of grape, maybe a, fi maybe a little bit of an artificial grape note, um, or like a graham cracker crust. I think of Christmas or holiday coffee as being a little spicier. This is definitely a medium roast, don't get me wrong, but the... Um, you know, holiday coffee, Christmas coffee, Thanksgiving coffee, again, I think of as maybe a little bit darker than this. You know, maybe this is to appease everyone at the Christmas table. Uh, like I said, it has notes of classic American coffee, Folgers, um, Maxwell House, um, you know, not as bad as Knights of Columbus Hall <laughs> free coffee, but this is... Um, it's it's not what I expected. Uh, if I were to rate this, I think we're probably at a 4.9 right now. So I think that this has just been beat out slightly by the Wendy's coffee review that I recently did. 
um, maybe this was a maybe this was a large batch because it was I found it at Cabela's and I know you can direct order from them maybe I'll have to try one of their classic you know the ones that everyone goes crazy over which I know is some of their dark roasts um, maybe this is a, a a poorly blended batch that would be my my suspicion because like graham cracker and grape those don't sound like flavors that go together well it's a it's acidic there's a little bit of like a cardboard taste left afterwards so what did i say 4.9 that's that's where i'm leaving right now so cheers black rifle coffee company appreciate what you do in that you um you know try to help veterans and first responders um but i think we're gonna have to try a different one so this was their Black Rifle Coffee Holiday Roast 2020 Review. One more note, if you have a Black Rifle Coffee blend you think I should try, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, also, like and subscribe to these videos if you'd like more coffee reviews. Cheers.